Patient advocacy groups have been working for the past decade and a half to move research forward. When APWED was founded in 2001, there was very few scientific publications on eosinophilic diseases in the literature. You could count them uh, in just a few dozen publications. The reason for that was lack of education and awareness among funding agencies, researchers, scientists, clinicians, patients, and the community. So the initial step was working on educating and improving awareness so that we could increase interest in these diseases. To get interest in research, you need to have money. Researchers need money to get their research to move forward. So the next phase is funding clinical trials, funding research, bench research, um, and we do that through a peer review program called the Hope on the Horizon Research Grant Program. Through that program, researchers can apply with innovative research promising investigators are chosen by a group of peers that have expertise in eosinophil disease research. And only the best proposals are funded with those donated dollars. Those researchers are then expected to remain in the field, go on and increase their research funding by applying to multiple agencies for research. One of the other ways APFED is working on improving and increasing research in eosinophilic diseases is by partnering with the medical societies. We have partnered with the American Academy of Asthma, Allergy, and Immunology to work with their nonprofit arm to develop a co-funded research grant for junior investigators. Those research awards have been very successful and we anticipate that program will continue. We've also partnered with the American Gastroenterology Association and the uh, NASPAGAN, the North American Society for Gastroenterology, Hepatology, and Nutrition. Going forward, we are also working very actively with the National Institutes of Health through the Office of Rare Diseases on the Seeger Clinical Trials Research Network. We're active participants in that, and APFED has contributed a significant amount of funding, $250,000 over five years, to facilitate those research projects. We are working with the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Initiative Grant, which is a grant that's been awarded to multiple centers, again, to study eosinophilic diseases.